Hello everyone, this is Frank Dillo from Alpha Design Studios. In this video, I am going to teach you how I create my doors and windows schedule. Looking at the screen, you are going to see an already existing or an already made doors and windows schedule. So we are going to replicate something like this in this video. You can see at the top you have your doors schedule and below it you have the windows schedule so how do you begin this i want you to know one thing for you to create doors and windows schedules in revit you must have already known how you normally create it in your autocad or other softwares what you're simply trying to do is to replicate what you have been doing in autocad just in your revit so there is every architect or every designer has their own pattern or their own design or their own way of drafting or drawing their doors and windows schedule. What you have here on the screen may not be how yours looks like, looks like all right? So you should model it or draw it to look like your own custom doors and windows schedule. Having said that, can we jump straight into Revit? So we are in Revit already. To start drawing your doors and window schedules, what do you do? You simply go to the view tab here. Go to the tab view, uh, tab bar, okay? Locate your view, view tab. Click on the view tab. Once you click on the view tab, under, under, under it, go and search for legend. You can see legend here. Look at legend and there's an arrow pointing down. Click on the arrow and click on legend then change the name to doors and windows schedule doors and windows all right once you've done this also change the scale to your desired scale for me i normally do 200 then click ok once you've done that, it's going to bring you to this blank sheet. This blank sheet is where you can draw whatever you want to draw. But in this case, your doors and windows schedule. Once you have gotten to this, this point, the next thing you do is go to annotate at the tab bar. Click on annotate. Click on detail line. Then draw your first horizontal line and draw your vertical line and begin to offset the columns okay how do i do that i go to modify go to offset then for the very first row i'm going to make it like 1200 and offset it the second one where you have the first diagram which is the elevation of the door i'm going to make it like 3000 Okay, then I'm going to create a little space, is a, li a little space in between, like 300 mm. Then before I create the other space, which is for the plan of the door. Then after I've done this, I'm going to now create the space for description. This is where I'm going to describe the fish, the the qualities, the features, the properties of the door. Okay, so. At this point, I'm going to make that those ones as well, 1,200, 1,200, and there are five in number, I think so, five or six, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, once I've done this, I will go to trim and extend to corner, I use it to trim this. Once I've done that, I use dimension to determine the height of this by my dots. So it is showing me 16,500. So I offset the same to my right hand side. 16,500. I offset the same to my right so that I can achieve a square. Then I offset and I trim, sorry. I trim it around. Then I come here where you have trim and extend multiple elements. 
click on this and click on the vertical line and begin to click on all the horizontal lines to join to the vertical line. So once I'm done with this, I click on modify to end the command. Once you're done with this, remember that, that we have two vertical lines here and here. Let's go and see that. Okay. Let me zoom this so it can be more visible. So we have two vertical lines here. There's a vertical line here and there's a vertical line here. So I'm going to create the same. By going to annotate, click on detail line and zoom in. Click here and bring it down. All right. Click here again and bring this down. So I am done with my table. I'm done with forming my table. Okay. Because the first thing you do is to form or set your table. Once the table is done, the next thing you are going to do is this. The next thing you are going to do is this by bringing in the diagram of the door. You bring in the diagram of the door into this place. How do you do that? You do that by scrolling down under your Korea browser to families. You can see families here. Click on this plus sign here. Once you click on the plus sign, the next thing you, could, you are going to do is to look for doors. Here is where we have doors. Click on this plus sign and select the doors you used for your project. Once you click on this door, all the doors you used in your project are going to appear here. So it is now left for you to choose, select the one you want to use at the moment. For me, these doors, as you can see them here, the asymmetrical single is the door for my living room. This door, double glass two. I use it for the shop because I have a shop attached to the building where some things could be sold, a kind of store, all right? I have also this decorative door one, decorative door two, and I have single floor. This single floor door, I use it for my toilet doors. The decorative two I use for my kitchen door, which is a security door, and for the single decorative one I use for all my internal doors, which are wooden doors. So I already know the doors I used. So you should be conversant with the doors you use so that when you are importing the diagram into the table, you wouldn't make any mistake. So can we start with double glass two? For that is the biggest door I have, and my biggest doors are always my door one. The next biggest door I make them door two and so on and so forth so I click on this plus sign here it is going to review further the different kinds of dimensions you have for this very particular door so it is up to you to know the very dimension you used for me I used 1800 by 2100 millimeters so I click on it hold it and drag it and bring it to the space where I want to position it. Then I release my hand from the cursor. Then the next thing I'm going to do is to click so that it will be positioned. Then I bring it down again and click here. So you may be asking, why do I have, have two plans? What is the essence of having two plans? But meanwhile, click on modify to end the command. Okay. Now I was asking, what, what is the essence of having these two plans? The essence is this, one of them is going to eventually be turned into an elevation why the other one will remain as a plan but also know that this having a plan is optional once you have the elevation of the door i think that is enough okay so i click on this upper one go to this bar here this bar you will see view in view you see floor plan but then click on the arrow beside it and select elevation front and click on it then click on modify. You have already gotten the, the diagram for your door. The next thing you are going to do is to dimension it. Dimension this. Okay, never mind the dimension. I did not edit the dimension when I was importing the door. If not, when you dimension it, it's going to give you the actual dimension, which is 1800 by 2100. But never mind, all right? So click on this, use your arrow key to push it up to centralize it. You can see that the dimension now is bigger than my 
than the space I created. What do I do? I can now decide to hold down my control key and highlight all of this line. Hold down the control key again and click on this and this and begin to push it down. Push it down. Okay. Then click on modify. At this point, click on the door again and push it up. Okay, this is how you do this to enter into whatever space you have created. So having done that, I have to click on the plan and bring it down. Bring this down. Then I click on modify to end the command. But now you can see that this door is having the wall at the center. But I want the walls to be at the right hand side and the left hand side. I want the wall to project outside to the left and to the right, all right? Not at the middle. So I click on the door, come to host length. You can see what we have there, 914.4. So click on it and erase that and make it 3000 and click modify. Oh, this is too much. Click on it. I say 3000, what's like, okay? I type 30,000, make it 3000, click on modify. Okay, this is it. We are done with the diagram right now. The next thing we are going to do is to begin to type in the text, the text into this. Let's go to the example again. For the text, we have item, item here. We have door one. All right. We have description, size, color, glazing, and so on and so forth. So I go back to Revit. What do I do? I go to annotate. Click on annotate. Click on text. Then click here because I have I had already saved some text in here, so I'm going to select from among here. So in case you've not created any text at all, the first thing you do is to click on edit and click on and duplicate. Give it a name, the name you want to call your text. For example, text one. And click OK. I'm going to give it a color. Click on this color. You can decide to give it blue. And click OK. Then you can now come to text font and select the text font you want. It can be any one of this. Let me use this and give it a size. Text size. Go to text size and give it a size. Let's say three millimeters. Let's give this three millimeters. Okay. Then click OK. You have just created a text which have now joined all these other ones. So I've just shown you how to create the text. At this point, I would also like to tell you that it is better you create more text. Create more text so that you don't use one single text for your doors and windows. When you use multiple text, it adds a flair. It adds beauty to the doors and windows. So never use one text for your doors and windows schedule. Make sure you use variety of texts. So now we are going to type our item here. But which one are we going to use? Let's use this one we just created now. Click on this and come here, click here. We call it item. Alright. Then you click modify to end the command. Then click on this and raise it up with your arrow key to centralize it. Alright. Then click on modify. We have gotten that. The next thing we are going to do is to type our D1. D1 is going to be here. Like I told you, I'm going to use another text uh, font for this so that the beauty will come out. So I go to text again, click on text, come here, click on this space, and I'm going to use, let me use this for one, click on this, and come here, I type here D1, D1. I click on modify, then click on it, and use my arrow key to centralize it, it up. All right, so bring it down a bit. All right, so we have item door one. Then I'm going to create another one here, which is description. So I click on this item and click on copy. All right, but before then, I think this my item is too big, so I'm going to reduce this size. Click on it, go to edit type. I'm going to duplicate. I'm going to call this text 2. 
text too and click ok i'm not going to change any other thing i'm not going to change anything in this the only thing i'm going to change is the size so the text font remains the same but the size is going to reduce so i'm calling this two points let me just make it two two millimeters and click ok you can see it has reduced then click on it and use your arrow key to bring it down now i want to type other text like description color glazing and other ones that are here and even number of re numbers required so i'm going to use this so that they are going to be um uniform because these are the they are, they are like the subtitles they are like the subtitles so the subtitles should have a uniform text so i click on this click on copy to make it easier click on multiple then click on my reference point here and begin to click at each of the spaces now i am done with this click on modify to end the command we still have one left description description this is description here so i'll begin to edit all this text i have to edit them double click on this and type description description click modify to end all right then the next thing i'm going to do is for this one what we have there we have size color glazing size color glazing location size color glazing location and numbers numbers required you can click modify you can see that this one is already going out so what i'm going to do is i'm going to push all of them backwards using my arrow key but af if after pushing it back it still does not enter you either reduce the text size or you enlarge the space so i will leave you to do that i'm not going to do that here you can see the text is still covering the line so it's either you extend the line or you reduce the size of the text all right so we are done with this okay so the next thing you have to do is to begin to type all the other text that you have inside okay remember this remark and iron mongo you can know you can see that this text and this text and these other ones they are almost similar so we are going to use the same text to replicate these ones so i go here size Anyway, let's push this one back a bit so i can use this and bring it somewhere here here we have i think we mark here i will have iron mongri here remark remark Iron Mongri. I'm just going to type only iron. Click modify. Well, I think these lines didn't get to this point. Let's see. Okay, this place is free from those lines. So what am, am I going to do? Go to Revit again. Click on modify. Click on trim slash extend multiple elements. Then click on this vertical line. I begin to click on this other side of the line. To draw them backwards. Okay, you can see this place is now free. Now push this up a bit. Also push this up a bit. 
So how do you type the smaller text that you have in there? To type those smaller texts, I'm going to go here, sorry, go to annotate, go to text, click on this space here, and select a small text size, like you can see this 2.5. I select this and click here and begin to type whatever whatever I want to type. Alright. Enter. Then when I'm done typing, I click modify. But you can see that this text looks still big. It may not contain, it may not enter into the space, so it can reduce the size from 2.5 to maybe 1 millimeters or 1.5 so that the text can become smaller and would contain more information inside the space. So you do the same, go to annotate, click on text, do the same for this, by whatever, click on modify, click on it and push it up, enter. So you do the same for all of them and fill up all the spaces that you want to fill. So, but if you look at this very example we are using, if you look at the example we are using, it has four units or four compartments. So we're going to create multiple of that. We have already created this one to use it to duplicate others. So click somewhere here and drag to highlight this very one. Once you've done that, click on copy. Click on multiple. It is already a multiple. So click here and bring this one to this side. Bring this, make sure it is in alignment. And bring this here. So once you are done with that, click on modify to end. Now begin to bring them closer to each other so that your title block can contain them. If they are so far apart, they may not be accommodated by your title block. All right, then bring this one again. And click on modify. The next thing you are going to do now is this because all the doors are not the same, you are now going to delete all these doors. Delete all these doors. Delete all these doors. Even these letters, you can also delete them. In fact, you are not supposed to have typed the letters first before duplicating so that it doesn't give you double work. But since we have already done that, you can delete them, but it is not wise because this is going to delay your time. You don't type the text first, but you type the text, especially the inner ones, not the subheading. You only have to type them when you have already duplicated the, the, the table. So I'm going to import the doors that should be here. This is going to be my door two. Door two. Door three. Door four. Use this arrow here, this button here to drag it backwards. All right, so now it is time for you to bring the doors in. So the second door that I have, let's hide this one first. The second door that I have is the asymmetrical door. Click on this arrow here. The dimension I used was 1200 by 2100. So I click on it, hold it, and drag it. Bring it here. Then click here 
can click here click on modify to end go to my second door hide this one first click on this minus sign to hide it to close it then the second door is the script uh, this uh, decorative the single decorative one click on this point then the size i used is 900 900 so but you can see what we have here 914 by 2134 so i click on this one and drag it here click here and click here then the last door i'm going then hide it first the last door i'm going to use is this single flush click on the plus sign here the size of this is 750 750 by 2100 but this is one that is closer to it click on this 762 by 2134 click on this and drag it bring it here position it here and position this one here so click on modify and begin to change them now change the plans to elevation click on this point go to view click here and select elevation fronts click on modify do the second one click on this door go to view click here and select elevation fronts and click on modify do the same here click on this go to view and select elevation fronts and click modify when you are done with that extend the walls of the doors click on this door come to host and uh, host length and make this 2400 2400 and click on modify do the same here go to host type 2400 and click modify do the same here again click here go to host length make it 2400 and click modify so then the next thing you have to do for you to make this thing this stuff to be beautiful find the colors to show the colors of the doors and windows to show come to your visual style here click here and make it realistic then you will see the beauty the colors are now added okay the next thing you have to do is to also add the dimensions add the dimensions okay this is 2100 this is 2000 this all right this this and this so you can see the dimensions are on the diagram so raise it up raise this up and bring the dimension down still go up all right so i think this is okay take this one up again bring this down and do the same here And bring this down all right so you can see that our space is not enough because the dimension is encroaching on the lines so you can either reduce the size of your dimension or you increase the space all right so this is where we're going to stop the remaining information are yours to put in all right the last thing we are going to do is to create our title lock or title panel where we are now going to put this our doors and window schedule now also remember that since we have created our doors you can just click on this duplicate it and copy it down move it down a bit move it down and click modify what they're going to do now is delete all the doors and change everything to window change everything to window just like you've done for the door you also go to family look for windows 
and select any of the window of your choice. Let's say, for example, here, click on this. Let me use this and bring it here. Sorry, click on the plus sign. Click on this and drag it, bring it here. Drop this here and drop this here. Click on modify. Make sure you must have deleted all the doors that you have here. All the doors. Then let the windows take the position of the doors. Like I also told you, the one on top should be the elevation. Go to view, click on this arrow, select elevation front. That will give you the window. For the plan, click on the plan here, go to host length, type in 3000, and you will have it this way. All right, so this is your window. You can also dimension this. Dimension this, take it up with your arrow key. Okay, so this is this. Then the next thing you do now is to take this into your title block or title panel. So I scroll up to my sheets, click on sheets, right click, click on new sheets. If you have not created any title block or title panel before go to load family load it's going to load a new one to for you but for me i had already i had already downloaded so i don't need to click load again all i simply need to do is to click on ok so it will bring a new title panel for me once that is done i am going to import my doors and windows schedule where I have them, I go to legend. Where is legends? Here's legends. Click on this plus sign here. It's going to reveal the doors and windows. Click on the text doors and windows. Click on it, hold it, and drag it. Bring it inside the title panel and release. You can see it already in a square form. Click now. You can see it is already positioned inside your panel. But you can see that some of it are going out. What do I do now? I have to click on it. Right click. Click activate view. Then begin to drag some of them in. Highlight this and take it to my right a bit. Okay. Do the same for this one. Take it to my right a bit again. You can see that one has entered. Do the same for this. Take it to my right. Do the same for this. Take it to my right. Alright, so that is okay. Then once I've done this, I right click and click deactivate view. Deactivate view. Once you have the deactivated the view you are now ready to go but you can see these doors and windows has a very long line here i want to reduce or shorten the line how do i do that i hover around the the doors and windows schedule diagram then click on it it is going to highlight the text with the line and a button at the edge here click on that button and drag it backwards once you have done that you can now click on move 
It's either you bring this here or you take it off. Let me take it off. Sorry, that's not it. You click on the text alone. Click on the text and drag it with your arrow key. You cannot click move. It's either you take it up or you take it down. But I want it to be up here. So I click on the diagram and bring the diagram down. Okay. I still want to take this up. Alright. So this is just it. The next thing you do is to print your drawing. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for subscribing to our YouTube channel. Thank you for commenting and liking our videos. And thank you and thank you. Bye.